Welcome back to Primary Night 2024 here on KCAL News. I'm Susie Sa. The Culture War Showdown is taking center stage on the ballot in two local cities tonight. First, in Huntington Beach, where voters are deciding a pair of issues. Now, Measure A requires voters to show ID. Supporters say mandating voter ID will cut down on fraud. A critics say it is illegal and will be challenged in court if it passes. Right now, 52.1 saying yes and a little less than 48% saying no. Measure B in Huntington Beach giving the city council also sole power to approve which types of flags can fly on city property. Critics say it's an attempt to ban pride flags and flags that could celebrate black or other cultural history months. Let's take a look at those results as you just saw there. On the second culture wars issues on the ballot in Orange where voters are deciding whether to recall two members of the Orange Unified School District Board. Both members Members were part of conservative wave of school board elections, and their election has led to battles over parental notification as well as book and flag bans. Uh, going alphabetically, let's start with the recall vote against Rick Ledesma, who is the board president. And those results coming in right now 53 saying yes and 46 saying no. And the results now for Madison Minor, who is a school board member or a school trustee, I should say. 53.2 and 46.8 saying no so far. Again, many votes still expected to come in. Now, I want to bring in our political panel to talk about this issue and several other major local races on the ballot. I'm joined once again by Sarah Sodwani, professor of politics at Pomona College, and Zev Yaroslavsky, veteran LA city and county leader, and now with UCLA School of Public Affairs, Luskin School of Public Affairs. Sarah, I want to start with you mm -hmm. and the culture war issue. Obviously, this is not a, an issue that's unique to Orange County, Huntington Beach, or the Orange Unified School District. Mm -hmm. This is happening across the country. Now, I want to talk about what the implications are here, whether yeah. voters say yes or voters say no. Let's remove these board members. Let's go ahead with this uh, fat, uh, this the uh, the flag ban. What 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 do you say about whether you know yes or no? Yeah, you're absolutely right, Susie. This is most certain. These are most certainly mm -hmm. issues that we see playing out throughout the nation. Mm -hmm. And the Orange County, as far as Southern California goes, is ground zero for these same kinds of concerns. Mm -hmm. uh, what what we're seeing here, Huntington Beach moving in that more conservative uh, area, um, uh, moving forward with a voter ID law, which no doubt Rob Bonta, the Attorney General, is going to be bringing a lawsuit against. Huntington Beach. Um, but in Orange, it's an interesting case here. Uh, this co these conservative members of the, the school board uh, had actually operated some months ago to remove the superintendent, mm -hmm. who was much loved by the parents, uh, in, in kind of a backroom negotiation right, at, right after the Christmas ba break. Uh, these, the, the superintendent and vice superintendent were removed from this, the, their positions, and now parents are having their say uh, at, at, at the school board level, and it looks like they are going to to recall uh, these members, though, of course, we still have plenty of votes left to yeah, count. It should be really interesting to see what happens yeah. in the future, too, with these same issues as well. 